Hello my fellow geeks. Today I want to show you our new frame which we are very proud of. If you watched our previous movies, initially we tried to make a F a DJI F550 work with uh, the heavy lift upgrade kit and fly this gimbal. We failed miserably in that regard because there was just too much weight for the F550 to handle and therefore we had to change our frame. And we got our hands on this baby here which is the nicest frames we have had our hands on ever. This is a, a really really nice engineered frame and um, I'm gonna present it to you quickly. It is completely made out of carbon fiber. It has a diameter the way this the, this one that we have has a diameter of about 650 millimeters but it is easily changeable because the way this is built it allows you to replace the arms with longer arms and you can take it up to 950 uh, millimeters diameter if you want but since we we already had the Abroto engines that we wanted to use on our F550 uh, we start uh, on, on this one, on the 650mm one. The engines are normally uh, rated 2 to 4 S LiPos, but instead we are using a 5 S LiPo. And uh, everyone, I mean, most of the people advised us not to do so, but we did it anyway. And what we did, we replaced the DJI uh, ESCs that we had with some uh, better ones that also support uh, up to 6S. And we gave it a try. Uh, the person who convinced me to, to go, go on and use the 5S was the guy at Flexacopter who I respect because he, he has a really open mind and doesn't just do what other people tell him that he should do. He just try things out for himself and, uh, and sees what works and what doesn't. And uh, I really, really respect that. So we are using the Abroto motors with 5S LiPo successfully. The, the motors don't, they just barely, uh, barely get warm. So they are almost cold after a complete flight. With this setup, we get about 12 to 13 minutes hover time with one battery such as this one. This is a 8 amp battery. And uh, you could probably get even more if you put two of these, but it would not be too, too effective. So we're just gonna stick with this one. The components that we have on this frame are a NASA flight controller, which behaves okay. And uh, we also have a spectrum receiver, an 8-channel spectrum receiver with telemetry module. And uh, we also have a 12-volt circuit here, which is used to to power our, our LEDs and I will show you how our LEDs look like. We have placed, actually we intend to place one LED under each arm. You can see the one on the front arm here, which will give us a pretty good idea of how this frame is oriented by flying. And the way we adapted this to our AV130 was quite simple. Normally, the carbon fiber frame comes with its own landing legs that fit in between these two horizontal plates. What we've done, we have CNC'd these two vertical plates and we've connected 
the plates to where the legs used to be. Actually we used the legs and we just cut the part that we did not need from them. And uh, on the AB130 side we have these two grommets on each side through which we pass the carbon fiber bars. Unfortunately we may not also put grommets here because the, the photo hire tray does not allow that. But uh, we, this frame is so, uh, uh, so steady that there is very, very uh, less uh, vibration in it in comparison to what we had with the F550. So there is in fact no, no vibration whatsoever. And we are using Graubner's, Graubner propellers, 11 inch propellers, which were also intended to go on the F550. And we also have some uh, XOR wooden propellers, 11 inch ones, that we are yet to, to try. So if you guys want to buy a good frame, carbon core is definitely a very good frame and it's not, not at all expensive for the, the quality that, uh, that you will buy. So I, we, we strongly recommend this frame. Thanks and leave comments, questions, I'll be happy to answer them.